Hello everybody, it's uh, Jimmy back again with another home automation Philips Hue video for you. Well, I've you know I've been an early adopter was on the Philips Hue lights probably within like the first couple months they were released, and since then they've updated the bridge to now have Apple HomeKit support, and also I think it's a better processor in there and does a better job with less lag and delay from what I've I'm assuming is going to be the case. I got the um, starter kit with the two just normal LED uh, lights since it was only 20 bucks more than just the bridge itself, which was 59 uh, Actually, the bridge was 49 by itself, but if you buy this kit, you get it for 69 So, not bad. Um, I'm just going to quick do a quick unboxing here, and then we'll quick do a um, actual how you transfer settings over because... I have about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven lights total, and obviously I don't want to have to reset up every scene of mine again. So, so we'll just uh, kind of go through how it works. My first attempt. So here we go. Beautiful little kit we get, of course, with the the new one is square, obviously. The old ones were circular pucks, kind of like the uh, Hue Tap was. So you get one of those, you get the ever awesome power cable with the multiple, if you're European, I suppose you have that. Let's throw this guy. There's that. How nice, at least they give him the inter uh, ethernet cable. And of course, the two just white bulbs, which I don't know where to put these yet, but you know. So, what we'll do now is, uh, I have a, let's here we go, we'll take a look quick. Good old HP Slate Twin Pro, pretty awesome. Everything's set up here with the lights, uh, relax, let's see here. Play. There we go. Okay, so we got everything set up right now. And let's go look at our old bridge. I think the main thing when we do this change out, oh, uh, I wish I had light. There you go. Anywho, generation one bridge. What I've been looking on the internet and finding out is that you should probably keep the old bridge plugged in and connected and then basically plug in the new one on the same network and then Use the app to basically transfer settings, I guess. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay. Thankfully, I have a lot of spots for power. My network setup, uh, I basically have a 8 port gigabit switch connected to my Asus router. All gigabit, gigabit ports, because HD and 4K need bandwidth. Then secondary connection, of course, is CenturyLink as a backup. Okay, um, well, let's find out what happens here. Should be on the same network and everything. Everything's going through. Going to settings here, I believe, and then bridges. Is there? Oh, hey, look at that bridge transfer. Okay, we're again. Make sure both are plugged in and powered on. I really hope this is as easy as I think it will be. Oh, hang on. Gotta do button pushing. Do -do -do. Old bridge. There we go. Sorry about having to do it this way since I'm using my iPhone to record. 
Uh, oh, here we are. Oh, wow. It's a pretty big button. Blah, 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 blah. Eula. I wonder who really... Oh, no. Continue. I wonder who really owns my soul from all the Eulas I've, uh... Signed. So right now, firmware update. Alrighty. Okay, it looks like now we gotta do a reset on the new bridge after a firmware here. Okay, one second here. Let me find that. Let's take a walk. And I'm just going to hold it for like 10. 15 seconds. Yep, that looks sufficient. Okay. Okay, I also just uh, pulled the power on the uh, bridge to the new one. And I see networking. All right, here we go. There we go. Okay, let's see here. We have a little fun transfer button. And let the transfer begin. I'll be honest, the thing I'm excited about with the new bridge is the HomeKit stuff and mainly because actually the Apple Watch factor. Even though I do have Alexa or Amazon stuff. Whew. Sorry guys if I'm trolling you with the Amazon Echo stuff, my bad. Not trying to. I actually have to mute my um, Echo whenever I... Uh, I'm checking over my videos, it goes a little crazy. Okay, so we're storing some uh, the contents right now. So hopefully, I imagine it can't take that long. I mean, it's gigabit network connection, same LAN, both wired. Imagine the files are like, what, 10K? Oh, there we go. Okay, next step here. Okay, we gotta wipe the old one. Nice, okay, well, moment of truth. It looks pretty. Um, sexy time. Let's see, we'll do relax. I think that's all my lights. And, uh, okay, let's see here now, in settings, bridge, actually let's do the, where's that at, I 
Hey, yeah, it's looking pretty good here. Not bad. Okay, moment of truth. Let me uh quick unplug the old one. Okay. Old one, unplugged. By the way, I will be giving this away on my YouTube channel to who one of our one of my subscribers, I guess. Let's see where we're in February right now. So between now and March, any I'll uh, basically what I'll do. I'm gonna put everyone, all the subscribers, into a database, sign a number to them, have one of my friends pick a number between one and whatever number of subscribers I have. Winner gets basically my bridge, my huge first gen for free. I'll ship it, no charges, whatever. Spread the love, baby. Okay, Minnesota Wild colors. Let's see. That looks good. Beautiful. Now the question is, Alexa, turn off all lights. Hmm. I think I repair my bridge. There. Okay. Ah, oh, so delayed. Alexa, turn on door. Yeah, gotta repair that. So I'm wondering if I think an app's probably need to be redone, but sorry, the device door is not responding. Please check its network connection and power supply. Oh well. Nonetheless, so there you go. The drunken geek how to transfer from a Philips Hue bridge version one to the latest generation version two. I got space. Oh, by the way, yes, I'll make a video for the free giveaway thing, whatever. I think I'm gonna start doing that since I go through a lot of technology and you know, you guys are cool, you, you bear with me in my weird videos, so anywho, peace.